Hello everybody, and welcome back to Mighty BB Plays Europa Universe House. This is number one, I wonder. We are 35th diplomatically. Yikes. Probably because we're doing so much annexing though. So we need to do... So one more month. And we should have them. So at the end of July. Sweet. I hope they won't push me over my force limit. That happens so often. I kind of wish that you got their general, too. I kind of wish... Oh, I don't know, at the end of August, because it's always got to go an extra month. I forgot. How much more can you improve relations by 88? That's just enough to do it. Mm hmm. Yep. And yep. And... How much can this place hold? 40? So you all go there. Easy. Hmm. I want you to go here. You guys go home during war. But I actually want you to go to the Genoa node. And then you'll combine with those other ships. Stay calm and take pride. Land maintenance modifiers minus 25%, so we're making 13. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at all these rebels. That's 21 plus that, 36 rebels. Wow. That's gonna... And I mean, that's thousands. That's 36,000 rebels. That's insane. Absolutely insane. So let's see, Castile has a claim, Aragon has a claim, I have a core, so I'm better than all of you. Mm -hmm. So combined stacks. <coughs> so it looks like um, Burgundy is not going to be doing well. I wonder if these rebels will fight each other since they're doing different causes. What do peasants do? Peasants break your country and... They try to change your government, I think, or try to release a nation. Stability cost modifiers. New idea. Yeah. I'm ahead and everything. So I think I actually will go for a stability. Boom. And I have... I guess do that, because I'd rather make as much money as I possibly can. Inflation is not a good way to do help. So good? We're still at war, huh? Okay, yeah, what was it? Oh, and we have an extra diplomat, because that was finally made. Lorraine, I want you to give me, well, maybe not that much. Where's your sweet spot? Yeah, I'll take that. And they like me more for it, believe it or not. Believe it or not. They want my provinces. You must have been huge, considering how many you want. Spare no expenses and gain that. Yeah, I feel fine, good that my, what is my resting, change by 0.15 per month, yeah I'm okay with that, France no longer considers Burgundy a rival, or Burgundy no longer I'm sure because they just said that, send a gift of 50 ducats. Burgundy is no longer a rival. Let's do... Their army's bigger than ours. There. Ottomans. Because everybody hates the Ottomans. He's Christian, at least, in the game. And by Christian, I mean, like, you know, Reformed, Protestant, Catholic, all of them.
I'll take a royal marriage. Austria no longer considers Burgundy rebel, it's now it's Denmark. Good. I didn't want to get on Austria's bad side because they actually have a bigger army than me currently. They kind of blobbed out more than usual. Hmm. Weird. Really weird. Oh. How are you guys doing, by the way? Oh. Okay, then. Wow. So there is a no longer a Burgundy. How would it be if I just declared war on you? I'm just going to fabricate a claim on Rethel. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, you guys don't like him either, huh? Uh, you guys gonna take care of your rebels, by the way? Actually, I'd probably prefer you didn't. Because they're probably going to become a their own nation. Tempted to just fabricate a claim on Flanders as well. Friesland's in one province. Nope. Would they accept nationalization? Why not? French space tech. So if we had our representation higher and pretty sure we could beat that, but I'm probably going to just declare a war on them. But I'm sure I won't be the first. Or wait, can I just declare a war on you straight out without... No, but Austria would join you. That's scary. I would lose... To stability. Yeah, that's not worth it. Not worth it at all. I'd love if these two fought. <laughs> this is going to really help me though, advance. Hmm. So. We'll transfer Holland will. Okay. So you're thinking about these guys. Good. Offer vassalization in one month. Or no, right now. You shall become my vassals. Great. Okay. So you're not part of the Holy Roman Empire, but you are. So I'm going to actually fabricate a claim on you if I can. Where's our relations down? They're willing to trust me somewhat, you know, 185. Yeah, actually, I guess just keep improving. Yeah, but seriously, you guys. Britain. Like, seriously, these rebels. You might want to, you know, concern the knights. Where are these knights? You've taken me into the middle of the ocean. Crete. Oh. What is this? <laughs> I was like, who are the knights? Oh, that's why they declared war. It's literally a one province. I was also wondering why they're 
War score went to 70 immediately. Are they actually going to attack them, or are they just sitting on their capital? Can't tell. Is currently targeted by covert actions by France. I don't know what that means. Does that mean I'm just... Oh, it's letting me know I'm fabricating, I guess. Oh, because if I... Oh, I see. So they actually aren't part of the Holy Roman Empire. Well, that is not good for you, I'd have to say. Because you most certainly want to be a part of that. Because see, I won't attack them because they're part of the Holy Roman Empire. You got burgundy and peasants. No, that's... You got robo metals. Mm, yeah, and nobody will join yours. I won't even call Savoy into it to be truthful. I'm just going to fabricate a claim. I'm g I didn't cancel it because I thought, you know, why would I? I'll just fabricate a claim because I might use it eventually anyways. Because all these people are in the Holy Roman Empire. Which makes them a pain to attack. Because, like, look at all this. Austria. And Austria will call all of their allies. So that's not fun. However, conquering them is. Because they're not part of it. It's like the group that everybody's a part of, and then they're the one lonely one. So then they're going to get picked out. They're being hand selected. It's a good thing. Hmm. I can actually build quite a few of these. Build you. Build you. Oh, but it requires 500 ducats. That's an extreme amount. That's like an extreme, extreme amount. Just go and march over there. You know, nothing suspicious. Oh, Austria will not save you now. Nor would it ever. Well, it would. Trust me, it definitely would. But it, it won't this time. My navy is doing good. Making me some ducats. What is it time to upgrade? I will absolutely not upgrade those. Point oh one gold. Okay. What are you making here that's so bad? No, oh, it's because of that. So I have a cast a spell eye. So, um, I'm uh, sorry. I'm so sorry about this, but I am going to declare war on you. And there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop my war machine from stomping you to dust. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of burgundy and ru peasants. That, that's kind of concerning. Which, I want to destroy you first. Because you're going to be a giant pain. Yeah, that wasn't that bad, actually. Since they're peasants, they didn't have anybody. Oh, Lorraine. Cheers. Okay, fine, you help with that siege, and I'll help with this one. Select armies, and do that. Boom, boom. Good. Lose 43 ducats, or... 
Yeah, yeah, lose 43 ducks. That's definitely worth it. Oh. Ah, Austria was the papal controller now. That's just not even cool. I want to be a papal controller. I had unreal chance to own it. Which leads me to question why you do, but, you know, I'm not going to question, I guess, in reality. So how easy was this? Well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and that'll be the end of this episode. So goodbye, and I hope you've enjoyed.